So maybe uh, yours for, for the, our agency is already uh, have the lecture the, several times. So you, you can understand exactly and something boring. But anyway, it's very important. So Oxford UK is as no, no, this is a mobile pairing. UK A. Uh, maybe it is the most uh, popularly used in the world. Around the half, fifty percent of share in the world. So it's a very very uh, big influence. So this is a concept of, of UK A. It is the concept is very important. So unlike the TK A. The concept of UK is just with the predicted condition. So uh, in the TKA, we reconstruct and the uh, link alignment and the joint line. So because the, after the surgery, the leg rest, uh, restored to the, uh, the neutral alignment, that means that hip, knee, and anchor uh, in the same line. And components are perpendicular to the mechanical axis. So component uh, alignment means the joint line. I mean, the both joint line and component are perpendicular. But you get just with the, the predicted concept. The key point is MCL. So uh, after the media side or the media side, they can be shrinked due to the cartilage wear on the media side. Just after the surgery, it's restored the normal tension at the length of its component. So uh, our so procedure is operate aim of operation is it just return that this that this situation and this situation is similar in terms of ball leg alignment and joint line. So the patient play disease joint, uh, uh, no, no, the patient play disease alignment and patient play disease joint line should be restored. That is a completely different concept. So we need to change our mind the, of the arthroplasty. So, this is a fundamental. So this is a resurfacing surgery, never reconstructed surgery. Reconstruct means that uh, we have some modification of morphology, alignment, or ligament patterns, but just resurfacing. So uh, repair that one cartridge using the metal and polyethylene component. That's all. And true interarticular operation. That means uh, uh, we just repair the interarticular uh, uh, region, some cartridge. So cartridge where is the field with the metal component. That's all. That's all. So as a result, so alignment should be destroyed to the patient predisease condition. As you know, uh, most patients don't have the neutral alignment in their healthy age, in their young age. So even in uh, the Western countries, the, they are considered to have the straight rate compared to the Asian patient. So in the Asian patient have some various alignment, but even in the Western countries, uh, leg, or leg alignment in the normal healthy subjects are not straight, not always straight. The straight leg is very rare around uh, several percent in the photos. In the average, around one or two millimeter in failures. So uh, the aim of Oxford is to restore the patient pre disease alignment. So, so we our goal is not a straight neutral alignment, the patient predisease alignment. So if we do the Oxford knee, 
to so the patient will sing sided of the arthritis patient. So uh, after operation, the operator knee alignment should be similar to the the, the patient healthy alignment. If the patient if the patient has the constitutional effects, we call the various uh, alignment for the healthy knee. Then we call it a constitutional alignment. The patient the native alignment. So most patients have the constitutional various alignment. Or oh, some kind of uh, patients, uh, uh, so patients are one degrees, uh, three, two degrees, three degrees. So we call the constitutional various alignment. Uh, the patient have the native various alignment more than three degrees. We categorize the constitutional alignment, but the degree is different among the patients, but more or less, uh, the one or two degrees. Yeah. So if the patient has the uh for example three degrees in the parents in the healthy state, after the Oxford knee should be the three degrees in the parents. That's all. So note the uh Oxford knee never restore the neutral alignment. So that is a complete difference. So if you like to do the Oxford knee, you should accept. The uh, post operative virus alignment. Uh, if you uh, have, the, uh, have done uh, the TKA using the mechanical alignment concept, so post operative x ray should be neutral, but you should change mind. Sometimes you dislike <laughs> such a kind of mm, post operative virus alignment, but it's, it's okay. You can gradually familiar to this thing, but, but so gradually you're feeling that uh, it's not natural to, to be straight. A straight repeaters is not very natural. Maybe you should, you will change your mind. And so, uh, post operatively, uh, no, no, oh, no, 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 uh preoperatively uh so of course there are so much various but the post operatively hka is not restored to the uh the neutral neutral is zero degrees so in average around three or four degrees in various uh, because uh, some kind of uh various is restored because this various is constitutional Alignment plus media side uh, disease such as cartilage, uh, some some amount of bone wear. Then cartilage and bone wear can be restored uh, using the component, but constitutional alignment never change. So maybe so, or this will be the uh, normal distribution of the no uh, distribution of a normal population of the constitutional alignment, and maybe uh, two or three or four degrees. Anyway, uh, that is the problem. So post-operatively, most patients still have the various alignment, but it's not the matter. But we don't like to neutral or even bargain alignment after the operation, but we it uh, imply the overcorrection. So in the patient, Lateral side, lateral component, component uh, it can be damaged due to the high pressure. So, in the same time, we need to avoid the lateral of the arthritis. So, this is a weak point of UKJ because lateral side is still normal, still native. So, we should protect. So we should avoid over the overload the larger compartment. So, so slight beta arrangement is very safe, so the, uh, very confident for us. So we need to accept the positive beta. So uh, the that important point was the tension on length of the medial lateral ligament. So that's all. Uh,
a training operation or uh, we restore the links uh, and tension for the uh, media collateral. We got never too much. Uh, never lose, but never too much. So that is an uh, important point, how to restore. So in unlike the TKA, we never release the MCL. So in the TKA procedure, to restore the leg alignment to be neutral, uh, we sometimes we require uh, the source of tissue release, so such as the detach of the MCA or podcast on the MCA. But we do not touch the MCA uh, because that's is a very important. But everything decides. MCA decides everything in the UK procedure. Never release MCA. That is very important. So this is the aim of TKA, current TKA, mechanical alignment. TKA is aim for neutral alignment or threat leg and perpendicular alignment. Uh, this implantation is uh, beneficial for mechanical stability because it's a lot here, it, it passes the center of the knee. It's very stabilized in terms of the mechanical. So in the same time, so this uh, public placement of component, or maybe it acts as an even in the media and the right placement. So that is the neutral alignment is the focus on the mechanical stability rather than the patient and native situation in patient native condition. So all we call it the neutral mechanical alignment procedure. But uh, this is a game changer of the, uh, of the paper, game changing paper from the Belemans in 2010. So most patients have a slight bare saliva. In average, even in the Western people, Oh, this is maybe Belgium or, or maybe in the way in European countries. Even in the European patients, the Bela Salamis is popular in average 1.3 degrees in the average. And if we define the three degrees or more as the constitutional Bela Salamis, on the 30% of male patients and around 20% of female patients categorized as the constitutional alignment. So we need to consider. So if you do the mechanical alignment, we need to detach release MCL. That can cause some trouble, uh, such as pain, instability, and uh, discomfort. OK. OK. Anyway, so this is the thing that they talk. So I will continue the last. Okay. Yeah, so now, 